Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a, a Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and Cancer Rising. Weekly Tower reading for July 22nd uh, to July 28th, uh, 2019. And bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards, and we are going to jump straight away uh, to the spread. Or to the reading. Okay, so the first card which represents the topic of your Cancer week, that is going to be the Tree of Pentacles, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges that you guys need to overcome here. We do have the Two of Pentacles. Afterwards, it is the positive aspect of the week. This is going to be uh, the Death card. And then the last one which stands for the Guidance of the week, that is going to be the Five of Swords. So this week is going to call for a lot of... Uh, uh, well, you being organized, that's uh, the whole point, and uh, you on your turn scrutinizing your situation side regarding career and or relationship. Uh, for the reason being is that right now you are going to make a, a decisive move or rather like inflict a decisive hit on that uh, particular endeavor of yours either career relationship or either way and now you need to start thinking more for yourself let's say that way rather than for uh for the others here or how the whole thing is going to impact you rather than is going to impact a co-worker of yours for example so tree of pentacles as a uh, the very topic of the week it does point to a good stuff really it does point that you're gonna have support you're gonna um be how how do you how do you say it um well you're gonna be cancelled there are going to be a lot of meaningful conversations for example in between you and your wife in between you and your boyfriend, uh, in between you and your boss. So a, a pretty reasonable, you know, uh, advance um, in, the, in the situation that you're finding yourself at, it's, uh, it's found. Now, important thing with the Tree of Pentacles is that everybody recognizes the weakness and the advantages of the other for that reason when the tree of pentacles it's the prime card of the reading it is very unlikely that one-sided deal is going to be struck so let's say that you are um how do, how do i say it? right now you negotiate uh the terms of a future romantic relationship with your ex or with with a new person it doesn't really matter so that person completely recognizes, you know, what your standpoint is and, and what you want from that relationship and how you're going to perform, well, not to uh, the minus detail, but still they have a pretty good idea. And for that reason, uh, it doesn't look like that they're going to make an re uh, unreasonable demand, you know, so uh, with, uh, with an aim to throw you off or to uh, succumb you into their, uh, into their world. The accompanied card here is going to be the Five of Pentacles formation. It is a, a passive supporters that we do have. So uh, it pretty much looks as a cooperation unites over force. 
to tackle with certain problems that the force that everybody face simultaneously all right so that looks like as a let's say this profound conversation with your wife for example over a problems that you do have into your marriage or uh, problems that you do have in relationship or in your relationship with your boyfriend you know it's kind of like an open and honest conversations of uh, basically what what everybody con uh, how everybody con contributes into it and as well how one can what one can do in order to fix that so we do have a determination in this party you know to make the things better which is an awesome thing uh, the next one is going to be in regards to the challenges that you need to face and this is going to be the two of pentacles so um, a freedom of choice is a wonderful thing only if one knows what one wants the point here with the two of pentacles is that there are going to be too many ways how you can um, evolve in this endeavor your career relationship marriage you name it all right and the thing is that all of them are going to be uh, simultaneously promising and as well deteriorating also so it's, it's going to be difficult for you to pretty much make up on your mind how you should um, proceed forward with your marriage relationship project you know career paths and etc etc for that reason you need to be organized you need to pretty much before jump into all these uh, support through development conversation and etc etc you need to make up on your mind what you really want and how you want it otherwise the whole thing is going to be really chaotic uh, if i may say it that way the very least all right and uh, and uh, halfway through you can you will start feeling the, the the havoc in there the next card which accompanies uh, the two of pentacles is going to be the queen of uh, the queen of wands formation it is a uh, passive neutrals that we do have here and uh, you need to resist that uh, it's not even a temptation, it is more like a, a natural uh, instinct to take advantage of the disadvantages that the other party has. Like we said, you pretty much, are the, with the first couple of cards, you and this person pretty much will know each other very well. You will know your weaknesses, you will know your advantages, all right, or your blessings, your positives. And uh, the natural instinct here is one to succumb the other, <clears throat> so can have the most favorable deal out of it in regards to your marriage or in regards to your career and therefore one instinct um, instinctively will try to take advantage of the weaknesses of the other so that is something that you need to resist as well you need to resist a um, the attempt of the other person to do so um, as well but uh, also it's going to be difficult for you uh, to how do I say it to present yourself as a natural leader if I may say it that way that is only if you are not organized it will seem like you you are making up things as they go or as you go forward and especially if you're in a leadership position into your career and you want more progress that will not really speak well for you or uh, for your capabilities to unite the team and to uh, achieve significant progress into this um, into this project of yours that is just for example uh, the next card is going to be the positive aspect and we do have the death card so that is pretty awesome card here that we do have guys it does point that your thing is going into the next level your marriage is going into the next level your relationship is going into the next level or your career is going into the next level that is only if however you are organized and you are pretty straightforward you know as we said that there are going to be a lot of conversations meaningful conversations here so you do have the real potential to traverse a threshold all right uh which is the threshold of your next step of development career or relationship wise or a friendship wise however with the death card you need to know that there is no turning back afterwards you will never be able to have that 
the, the previous states of, uh, <clears throat> of your uh, enterprise. Giving you an example, uh, if you get engaged, all right, because this is the threshold of the next step of a uh, relationship development, you will no longer be able to undo this. Even if you break up afterwards, that means that this with this person, there is no longer a reconciliation. Of course, as a general reading, that is unlikely to be the case with everybody, but these are the energies here. These are the potentials here, all right? Um, in order one to be to say that definitively it's personal reading it's it's needed but <clears throat> the point is that is it, i will say it that way it will be very difficult to undo what you are to accomplish throughout this week and as i said that is going to be a decisive blow that will much more likely break the wall that you are banging your head against the accompanied card here is going to be the uh, chariot formation. It's uh, passive supporters. Well, I, it's it's even difficult to describe it, right? Because with these couple of cards, it's just a. It's really difficult to describe it. It speaks for a uh, a triumph, all right? It speaks for a, a very satisfiable. Um, stage that you are to achieve in this uh, endeavor throughout the week either career-wise or either relationship-wise uh, even if there is a, a shred of doubts that someone may put into you okay with these couple of cards that there, there, there will be no problem for you whatsoever to regain it and uh, once the transition is over all right, you are going to enjoy the luck of your hard work. You're going to enjoy your wish fulfillment, you know, or wish coming true. Um, You're going to enjoy your personal representation, uh, meaning that you are going to engrave your signature into all that. And it's, it just speaks for triumph, all right, successful change. And the last card that we do have, it is the guidance, and that is a little bit... How do you say it? It's not even morbid, all right? Well, the guidance points here with the five of uh, swords is that first of all, you need to know your limits and, and your capabilities. Not exactly yours, excuse me, but to the situation itself. Giving you straight away uh, on an example, maybe you're trying to get promoted. Well, you need to be reasonable with your prom uh, promotion demands you cannot straight away jump into the uh leadership um uh, the the leadership pack of the company that is just for example all right so you need to be reasonable with uh with where you want to find yourself after this transition comes around uh, comes uh, comes to end and as well the five of swords here <clears throat> urges you to take advantage of every weapon in the arsenal you have as long as it's um, as long as it it provides fair play because taking advantage of the weaknesses of your boyfriend for example or of your wife for example it's not fair play at all okay so there is a, a very thin line here that one can cross a line which as we said there is no turning back and you have to be very careful and for that reason you, this conversation needs to conversations excuse me needs to be extremely extremely meaningful where you um, are to obtain the entirety of um, the, uh, the entirety of the information you need in order to make your next or, or going forward strategy um, acceptable for everybody. And the last one here, which is the catalyst to the five of swords, this is going to be the ace of cups. So the formation, it is a uh, active neutrals and uh, it's very difficult to interpret this combo, to be honest. It doesn't fit very well. Uh, it's just, uh, it, it does recognize well it does point that um even though at the start you know um well let's say uh, it's difficult to explain it uh, it's more like that um this transition or this change here as it's a wish fulfillment it's it's going to 
present you with less satisfaction that's um, that you anticipated that you were gonna have and that is going to be for the reason being that the thing is just starting all right i mean as the transition is over now there is a lot of room that thing to grow your your engagement your promotion you know your marriage you name it okay so uh for that reason you are to recognize that the work is far from over and you still need to toil for it for the um for the well-being of your marriage, for the success of to your career, happiness of your relationship, and etc., cetera, etc., cetera. and that will inflict a little bit of a more morbid attitude. Uh, well, it's not going to be even morbid. It's going to be more like a poignant attitude, all right, where uh, you still want to have more from all that. But like I said, things are just uh, starting here. You are, like I said, traversing a very important threshold. And afterwards, the whole world will be in front of you. And let's hope, guys, that you can bring it down into your knees. So that being said, Cancer, this was your weekly tarot reading for July 22nd to July 28th, 2019. I think that it is a little bit longer than usual, you know, but it's just, it was... I, I simply needed to say what I said. I hope, like I said, I, you enjoyed it and you liked it. And uh, we are going to see each other next time. Until then. Bye.